okay, now that I have my background in place for my Flash movie, I got to match the rest of the image into the background of the Flash movie. All right, so that's what we're going to need to do. So I go to the folder, and we'll take one more look at this folder. You say, here's the background image, right? It's 1280 by 840. And what I want to do is, is I want to take out the center portion of this image. So I'll show you what I've got here. So this background image, I've got it open in Photoshop, right? There's the image. And what I want to do is I want to just evenly on both sides uh, copy a centerized portion of it. So I've got a little notepad document here. So the image is 1280 by 840. My flash movie is 1024 by 768. So I'm not going to worry about the height. Okay, I'm not going to worry about the height. I'm just going to worry about the width. So if I take 1280, which is the size of the background image, minus the size of my flash movie, which is 1024, I get the number 256. So that's 256 pixels. If I divide that in half, I could have 128 pixels on either side. So now in Photoshop, what I'll do is I'll get my I'll get my selection tool here. And what I want to do is, is I want to create a selection and I'm going to do a fixed size selection. So I'll say width 128 pixels, height 840, and then I will make a um, selection. So you can see here I've got the marquee selection tool, rectangular selection tool, and I put in a fixed size of 128 pixels by 840 pixels and then I set it right here on this side of the image right now what I can do is I can um, I've got my rulers showing notice I've got if I go under view I've got rulers showing and I can just drag out a guide to where I want this placed so right there so there's my guide and now I can take this um, same selection box right and oops I don't want to do that I want to have my selection tool and I just want to move the selection box to the other side so I'll just move that slide I'm using the, the arrows on the keyboard I've still got my marquee tool selected and I'm just gonna move it to the other side right and then I will take out the ruler and drag a guide to the other side. Right? Okay, that looks pretty good. Now I can deselect. So now I have guides on either side of my image and I can now turn on snapping, snap to guides, right? And then view snap is on and then now I can just draw a selection box. Oops, I got to turn off fixed size go back to normal and now I should be able to get a nice clean selection of the entire image also what I could also do now is just say uh, fixed size 1024 by 840 and then click where I want it and notice how it matches perfectly that looks pretty good right alright so now that's perfectly centered and it's the same exact size as my flash movie so in my flash movie here's my flash movie we'll just double check fit in window we see here the size is 1024 by 768 and in my Photoshop file it's 1024 by 840. I told you I'm not going to worry about um, the height. That way I have extra room on the height if I need it. So now I'll just do a copy, Control C to copy, Control N to make a new file, hit Enter, and then Control V to paste, and I've got my centerized image. So now I'll just save it. File, save for web as a JPEG 
set your quality I'll set the quality to let's say 80 as a JPEG and save it I need to save it into my desktop and I'll call it BG dash image center and save it in there okay so now I go to flash and I import it file import I'll import it into my library to start with and crash the system <laughs> I'm running a lot of applications right here and computers having a hard time okay uh, desktop let's get the file nope that's not it desktop there it is flash demo site and there it is centered and I'll bring that into the library so now it's in the library and what I'll do is I'll make a new layer here and then I will drag it out um, I need to center it so I'll select it and set the X and Y axis to 0 alright I'll take that layer and put it on the bottom so we can still see that orange outline around the top right and now save it I'll hit control enter on my keyboard to make a movie and now if I go to and look at the HTML page in the browser here was the flash movie embedded into my HTML page and I hit refresh and now you can see my background matches my flash background matches my HTML background and no matter how the window is resized it's always centered and you can't see that it's actually two pieces it's an HTML uh, page with a JPEG background and then a flash page. Now, with, there is a large file size here, so you know I am demanding that the viewer will have good bandwidth, but so be it.